Hello, my name is Alet Bold and I'm one of the developers of the Full Frequency Questionnaire project in the spring of 2019. The product owner was Dr. Cristina Palacios and my mentor was Dr. Masud Sayari. In this video, I am going to discuss some of the shortcomings in this first iteration of the project and the improvements that we recommend for continuing the development of the system. First, let's talk about the interface of the web page. The main improvement that can be done on the design is to make the width of all the question blocks equal and not dependent on the name of each item. This is going to make the web page look a lot more aesthetically pleasing. We documented a story FFQR 14 for applying a limit on the frequency input and warned the user if that limit is exceeded. This limit is going to prevent typos and also incorrect results. Sometimes items have additional information related to the item, such as examples for that food. Ideally, this info is displayed separately from the name. Also, it would be beneficial to test the primary components more truly with unit testing to prevent code changes from breaking the current functionality. Lastly, Testing their web page on an iPad would be ideal since most of the parents are going to be taking the questionnaire on a tablet eventually. Now let's discuss some of the improvements that we recommend on the backend services. On the food item service, a builder pattern would be cleaner and more efficient way to create food items. Some food items have variety of attributes and for example they might have a serving that is the default or they might have a list of servings they might have a sugar component or they might not so a builder pattern would be a better way to handle the creation of all of these different objects also the serving name in this serving options class needs to be refactored so that the amount of the servings is obtained automatically from the name and that it needs to verify that all of the units that are included in that name are valid. In the future, once the admin portal is built, there will need to be a put request in the API so that Dr. Palacios can modify the details of the items in the questionnaire. So if she wants to change the saving list, for example, there will be a need for an update in the controller for the food item service. The get and the delete API calls should be case insensitive. Lastly, it would be ideal to merge the creation of the food items and the nutrient list so that if there is a food item that needs to be added, which doesn't have a nutrient list ID that exists already in the nutrient list collection, both the item and the nutrient list can be created in one single request. In the questionnaire service, there can be a method to delete multiple questionnaires for an issuer in one single request so that if an issuer needs to remove the questionnaires of multiple patients at the same time, it doesn't have to be questionnaire by questionnaire. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions or comments, please refer to our contact information on the screen.